Hey guys, this is MyTV and I have DayZ gameplay for you. I bought Arma 2 Combined Operations just to play this awesome mod. It was totally worth it because they keep updating it and on top of that when DayZ goes standalone, which they announced it will. Oh no, there's a zombie which they announced they will you can still play Arma 2 and Arma 2 is also a lot of fun I tried Arma 2 some campaign missions and it's a really great uh, sort of military simulator okay I lost the zombie which is good the one that was chasing me okay so one tip for you guys if you guys are playing this game I played I played a little bit of DayZ before I made this video is always go prone uh, not prone but crouch and by pressing X you you make less sound and your line of sight well the line of sight how likely the zombies will see is gonna be much less and that's what I am doing right now and I think there's a zombie right there. No, okay good. Alright. Let's just try to find a hatchet, an axe, but it's called a hatchet. Okay, it's on me. No 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 no. Okay, I got hit. And I didn't have anything to deal with this zombie. No, let me through. Okay, I just quickly picked up. Am I bleeding? Okay, I'm <laughs> bleeding. So when you are bleeding, you can see you're losing blood every second or so. To deal with that, you must bandage yourself. I gotta always press V to sort of jump over these obstacles. Alright, let me just try to lose those zombies. Because if you're always going in places, like always making sharp turns like this, you will lose those zombies and if you're really quiet they might never see okay <laughs> I guess after the latest update maybe they just got a little bit smarter and they can actually chase me without really trying to find me because it used to be like if you j just do like this kind of turns a little bit as you can see it's still chasing me stop chasing me wish I had a hatchet Okay, let's bandage ourselves. I lost a lot of blood there. Alright, and we're good. Thankfully. We were able to lose that zombie over there. Okay.
morphine auto injector this thing helps you to fix broken bones if you ever get a broken bone if you ever use it you just use that and you're good to go we got some ammo AK mag I already have this and that's it Alright, so now we are heading to sort of a bigger town called, uh, let me see, Ch Chernogorsk. Chernogorsk. And basically, what I can do here is there are a lot of signs over, uh, like all over the world. For instance, if you go right here. See how it says this uh, this sign right here. It says, "Well, if we read it in English, it's gonna say Ka Mech Ka," but in reality, it's Kamenka. I can read it, and and there's um, there is a website which has a map of Daisy. It's the website you can just type it daisydb.com and slash map and it will open up a daisy map and this and over from there you just find your way to the big town okay there's a dead guy dead person that died I think he was sniped by somebody from like over here or killed by zombies because a lot of times there are players that are camping this area like over there on the high hills and they like to just snipe whoever spawns like over there because that's the usual area that players spawn in and so it's either there there is another place called Solnishni and they can also spawn uh, there so really there are Otmel and yeah there, there are really only like three places where people spawn in general like often and most of the time it's in this area and this spawn point is quite good because it's not too far from uh, from the big town where you can actually find weapons because in villages such as the one that I was before if you search every single building the likeliness of you finding a weapon is really low most likely you will just find a hatchet alright guys that's it for this episode don't forget to subscribe comment and like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video